Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I want to talk about all of the products I've recently picked up for Heidi for weaning. We started weaning Heidi from six months onwards and I've just done like a massive shop of just random weaning bits and I thought I'd share them with you so that I can show you kind of what we're using at the moment. So if you're interested in seeing what I've picked up, then just keep on watching. So I've picked up a load of like different kind of products and we're using different methods, I think, to feed her. We're using a combination of like finger food and using spoons. And I don't really want to go down like just a spoon fed route. And I don't want to go down just like baby led weaning. I think I'm just kind of winding in and out of the middle using different techniques from both. So with that, Heidi has already shown such an interest in Ella's Kitchen Melty Puffs. So these are amazing because they kind of remind me of like the consistency of like What's It or Cheetos if you're in the US. And these are just basically like maize, like, I don't know, like, yeah, puffs that they can chew on, but they melt in their mouth as well. So it prevents choking as much and it te really teaches them to kind of chew. Um, and those are the actual real size of them there so that they can really grip onto them, chew them. And it just really like teaches them to like pick food up and put it in their mouth. So I've got... Three packs here of strawberry and banana. These are definitely Heidi's favourite, so I picked up three here. So these ones I picked up in Tesco's because they were on offer. And then as I was going through Asda, I saw that they had carrot and parsnip ones. So I got two of those. Um, she's not tried those ones yet, but again, all these different tastes are gonna be like really good for her and just like teaching her to like both fruits, which are quite sweet and vegetables, which are more savory. So it'll be interesting to see how they differ and if she takes to these as well as those ones. I picked up those two, again, these were on offer in Asda. I've just picked them up four for two pounds. And then the other two I got in Asda, they only had two of the carrot ones. So I also got some tomato and leek ones. We actually have an open packet of these at the moment because she's been having a few of those ones recently. She really likes these. So again, it's more like savory flavor. And another pack of the strawberry and bananas. These are really good as well if you're out and about and don't really want to faff around with like a pouch of fruit or something. Just giving these as like a good snack are really, really good. I love them and they're organic as well because they're Ella's Kitchen. And it's just full of like really good stuff. So it's just like convenient, it's quick but Heidi absolutely loves these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. So that's gonna keep her going for quite a while. And I have half a pack of the tomato and leek ones in the cupboard open as well. So she's definitely got loads to start on with, but they're just so good for like getting them to like actually pick things up and put them in their mouth. So if your baby hasn't tried those, I definitely recommend them. Heidi loves them so much. So definite favorites in our household. So the next product is another like finger food type of thing. And these are from the brand Kidalicious. And these are raspberry wafers. So I got these in Lidl's for £2.09. And I got, uh, these come in 10 packs. They had different flavors. I saw that they had in my Lidl's raspberry and banana. But I've also seen them in Asda. They had like strawberry ones. So you, you probably can get different flavors in different shops. But you get 10 of these packs in like one big packet, which is so good. And you get two wafers in there. So these are basically like kind of rounded rice cakes, but like a little bit thinner. It kind of remind me of the consistency of prawn crackers. And these again, encourage babies to pick them up, chew on them and really like develop that like hand-eye coordination and then picking things up and chewing them in their mouth. So again, these are really, really good. I really like these because they are dairy-free and gluten-free and they're good from like six months onwards, but I think that they are kind of sweet as well. I've actually tried one of these and they are just very sweet. They don't have too much flavor to them, but it's more teaching them how to like eat things properly. So these are really good and just really, really recommend them. So I just thought I'd mention those because they were really cheap. You get loads in there, but again as well, these are travel friendly because they are no mess. Um, these are definitely less messy than the Melty Puffs. So really good if you're out and about and you just want to give them a bit of a snack to chew on. These are really good, like these are a firm favourite and I'm going to pick up all the different flavours next time I see them because I didn't know how Heidi would take to them but loves them so much so I'm going to get more of those. So I got a load of like pouches of fruit and things. I do make our own purees as well using fresh veg, fresh fruit, things like that but that's not really included in this because I've just done this more for like a convenience weaning type of haul because 
We love a quick and easy snack. If I don't have time to prepare something and then feed her, Heidi is very impatient and I wouldn't be able to like steam veg, puree it up and everything before every meal. And so pouches of food are so good. There's no denying that these are amazing. And so I'll start off with the ones I got in Asda because you can get like different flavors everywhere. And again, like I know pouches are more convenient. It's probably works out more expensive when you buy them often, but I just love them. I've got to be honest, I love that easy life. So the first one I picked up, I picked this up today and I just thought sweet potatoes is such a good idea. So this is the Ella's Kitchen sweet potatoes. It's organic. Um, it says again from four months onwards, but I think it's recommended that you start weaning at six months onwards to prevent allergies and stuff. And so what I like about this is that it's literally just like the potato and water. That's it, there's no extra added things. So this is really good if your child has allergies or anything like that. So I really just want Heidi to try a range of different things. I don't want her getting too used to having like apples and bananas and things like that that are really easy. I wanted her to like really experiment with taste and then when she gets older, hopefully her like food palette will be much more. So this was sweet potato one. This was 80 pence, which is a little bit more than kind of like supermarket own brand ones. But you can't get like a sweet potato flavored one in any of the supermarkets that I've seen so far. So I just thought I'd get the Ella's Kitchen one because I really like sweet potato, so I'm sure Heidi will too, but ATP isn't a disaster. Now I got two of the Asda Little Angels ones. Um, I have to be really careful about dairy with Heidi and I'm gonna go into that in her seven month update video because we've, we've gone through it and um, it's been a busy couple of weeks kind of trying to find out what's been wrong with her. So. We basically think it's a link to dairy. So I always have to check all of the packets, make sure there's no like milk added and things like that. So these ones haven't had anything extra added into it. So this is the Asda's, this is apple and strawberry, which I think will just be a really nice, like sweet dessert type of flavor. Again, it's quite nice to have like flavorsome, nice, enjoyable foods. So these are again from Asda's one. So this was 52p and it's like quite a big pouch. So I'm really chuffed with this. I also like doing these in like different shapes and freezing them as like teething things for her because it really cools her gums. Just a little trick there. I saw it on Twitter and I've been loving it, doing it since. So this is literally apple and strawberry blended with concentrated lemon juice. That's all that's in this. And again, it's really just easy to just buy them in the pouch. This one, I, cause that one was really sweet. I like to kind of counterbalance it with a savory one. And then I'll try and alternate between fruit and vegetable each day, just to make sure that she's trying a range of different flavors. So this is a peas, parsnips and pears. And this is gonna be more kind of rooty. They literally had like a rooty vegetable pouch, but they had added milk in it. And I didn't want to get that because we're trying to be really careful. But yeah, I just thought I'd pick this up to get more of a like veggie feel into her diet. Again, 52 pence for those. I thought it was so good. And it just like makes being a bit lazy with food preparation okay. You can literally squeeze these straight onto like weaning spoons and give them to them then. Or you can put them in like plates, whatever you want to do. But they just make life so easy. So there's two that I got from Tesco. This one is pea and parsnip with pear. Didn't realize I had that. That's literally the same as as the one. Silly me, but this one was 75 pence for a large one, which again was the same size as the Asda one. So next time I think I'm just stuck up on the Asda ones because you get more for your money. But again, kind of the same as the other one. It's just like vegetable puree. I just want to make sure she gets those different tastes. And again, this one's got no dairy in it as well, which is really good. So yeah, I thought I'd try that one out. I didn't realize I had two of the same. The next one is prunes and if your baby is slightly constipated, has trouble going to the toilet, prunes are amazing at helping clear it out. I think they said like fruits and veg with like pea help bowel movement. So like the pea and parsnip one's gonna help and the prunes definitely help. We find that if ever she's really constipated, prunes are the go-to to clear the systems. And I try and give her to these quite regularly, at least once a week, maybe twice just to help keep things regular if she needs a more like natural laxative. So these are really good, 50 pence in Tesco. So it doesn't cost too much. It's just quick and easy. You don't have to faff around with trying to like blend them or anything. So next thing I went into Lidl's and I got some organic apple pouches. So this was a five pack for £1.30, which I, again, there's nothing nasty added into this. It's literally just organic apples 
an organic lemon juice from Concentrate. And so these and the Ella's Kitchen ones, they're all organic. So if you're thinking you wanna get like organic because Ella's Kitchen is, the supermarket ones are just as good. I think that they literally taste the same. Um, but this was a five pack in a little box for £1.29. I just like having a load of different flavors in the cupboard so that if we just wanna like have something quick, I've got a lot of choice. So we've got a load of different things there like fruity and veggie that I think will just make our life a little bit easier. And the last thing I wanna talk about along the lines of prunes is this prune juice. Now I was recommended this by a doctor to help keep Heidi regular because we've had a bit of trouble with her constipation lately. And they basically said you can add prune juice in with your own purees if you're like making your own at home, or you can dilute this down and try and encourage them to drink it from like a beaker or a sippy cup or something like that to basically, again, keep things regular. It works in a similar way to the prune pouches. I probably find that this is easier because once you open this, this needs to be consumed kind of quickly. And obviously a baby is not gonna drink all of this. So this one was still under a pound, but it works out cheaper just to buy one of these. But I thought I'd give this a try. I haven't done so yet, but again, because it was recommended to me to try prune juice, I just thought I'd pick one up and give it a go, see if it encourages anything extra but yeah that's all of the things i picked up today but i thought it was worth filming and documenting the different things that we have got i love the pouches they're just so good aren't they they just make life so easy and heidi loves them she loves a range of fruit and veg and i just want to keep making sure that we're introducing all these new tastes especially in the early months because i don't want to like exclude say like sour fruits or quite rooty veg or anything like that because she's not gonna acquire that taste. And then if I introduce it too late and she's never tried it before, she'll probably just spit it out. So they say to give babies like the same thing if they reject it or spit it out too much over and over again to try and encourage them to eat it more. And yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing. Weaning, I'm just keeping it really fun and not stressing about it. And I've been really enjoying it so far. I think it's one of my favorite like baby steps that we've kind of taken so far. So yeah, that's been all the things that I picked up today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you are new and you've never watched any of my videos before, don't forget to subscribe down below. It would mean the absolute world. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.